Texas, the entire area on edge after two package explosions rocked the community just today. Two people were seriously injured and one teen was killed. Jason Allen is a reporter at our sister station, KTVT, KTVT in Dallas, and he joins us from the scene live of the latest explosion. So, Jason, these two cases were just uh, in the latest in a widening investigation. What can you tell us? Right. It wasn't until today the police thought another incident from 10 days ago. They, they thought that was isolated. Now they see these as all connected, and you get a sense of that just from looking back here at this scene behind me, where there are resources from the FBI, the ATF, who have come in here tonight, and they are all focusing on a house that is just up the block here on this street that is blocked off, and that is where a woman came out this morning from her house. She saw a package in front of her door, and when she picked that package up, it exploded. Now, police said here today that that package was not one that was delivered by the Postal Service or UPS or FedEx or any of those typical delivery services. This was a package they believe that was just dropped off. And tonight, after that explosion, that woman is in critical condition. This was the actually the second package in the city that exploded today, about seven o'clock this morning, and five miles north of where we are right now, a 17-year-old boy was killed when he picked up a box on his front porch and police said a woman in her 40s was injured in that blast. Those are all connected, police believe, to an explosion that they thought was isolated that happened back on March 2nd when a 39-year-old man was killed when a box blew up on his front porch. They believe someone is placing these boxes at the houses, but they do not have a description of the suspect. They don't have a description of the vehicle, and they really don't know at this point if there are any more of these boxes throughout the city. Right now, they are telling everybody who lives here if they see a box, doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be small, but something small on the front porch that they think is suspicious, they are asking people tonight to call 911 and report it. That's the situation here live in Austin.